do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Fred or Oz again. Today I'm going to be making a video that uh, is destined, I'm afraid, to not be uh, very popular. Uh, uh, this video is going to be about the comment. Uh, not the commentary, but the comment. Uh, it's in Libra Al. It's in the back. Uh, it's just after uh, the end of the Book of the Law. Uh, the comment, or the Tunis comment, as some people call it, uh, was received by Crowley after uh, 20 some years after he received the Book of the Law. Uh, many people, uh, well, I'm, I'm not necessarily many, but uh, there is a pretty good sized contingent of people out there who uh, try to explain away the comment or disregard the comment uh, for whatever reason. Uh, they say Crowley was trying to mislead us or that, you know, it's ironic and it's just Crowley's witticisms and you know, there's a lot of different, you know, I've heard a lot of people uh, on the internet talk about how they don't think the comment is necessarily valid. Uh, and they would, you know, have you to believe that, that Crowley uh, intentionally did this. Uh, but uh, I'd just like to make it known uh, to those of you who may not know that the comment is a Class A document. Uh, Class A documents uh, are supposed to be divinely inspired. They are not to be changed in so much as the style of a letter. They are received documents or channeled or inspired, however you want to uh, describe it. Uh, first, uh, you know, the, my thoughts on the comment, okay, first of all, it's not really an actual part of the book of the law, so I don't feel. Uh, I don't feel like I shouldn't comment necessarily upon the comment. <laughs> um, I do think that there is a certain amount of a um, veiled uh, uh, symbolism within it. I, I like it. It's where it says that you should destroy the copy. Uh, I don't necessarily think that. Uh, Crowley expected everyone to destroy their copies of the Book of the Law. I think uh, that it's more of a way of saying, you know, because he said it's wise to destroy this copy. Uh, I think that that, uh, it, it, it just basically is warning. It's warning against uh, others publishing their commentaries against others uh, trying to shape and mold the way society and individuals view the book of the law. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of people who like, would like to explain it away. Uh, it's not necessarily convenient. Uh, believe me, I'm you know, I'm publicly out here like this, you know, and it's sometimes not convenient for me. You know, when I get uh, emails from people who know very little about the Lima, uh, it's hard, you know, to respond to some of their questions without uh, directly explaining passages within the Book of the Law. So believe me, I understand the inconvenience of the comment, but uh, I believe it's there for a purpose, and uh, as I'll show, Crowley believes so also, and, and if he would have created it as some kind of a ruse or a veil, uh, I don't think he would have made the comments that I'll be reading to you shortly. Uh, first, I'm just going to go ahead and read the comment. It's very short. And here it is. The comment. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. The study of this book is forbidden. It is wise to destroy this copy after the first reading. Whosoever disregards this does so at his own risk and peril. These are most dire. Those who discuss the contents of this book are to be shunned by all as centers of pestilence. All questions of the law are to be decided only by appeal to my writings, each for himself. There is no law beyond do what thou wilt. Love is the law. 
Love Under Will, The Priest of the Princes, Ankaf Nakansu. Uh, like I said, it's very short. And uh, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, read some comments that Crowley made in Magic Without Tears regarding the comment. Uh, now, bear in mind that, that Magic Without Tears was written towards the end of Crowley's life. Uh, it was written around, uh, around 1943. Uh, Crowley died in 1947. Uh, so that means uh, there was about 20 years between when the Book of the Law was written and when the comment was received. And there was also an additional 20 some odd years since the com or, or after the comment was received that Crowley wrote this passage in Magic Without Tears. Uh, so this passage makes it clear to me that Crowley believed that the comment in the Book of the Law is to be taken seriously, uh, is valid, and uh, you know that to me is the end of the matter. I mean, if I if I could find something in Crowley's writings that said otherwise, then you know, perhaps you know I, I might tend to uh, go along with some of these other views on the comment. But uh, like I said, uh, this is towards the end of his life. I mean, he was telling it like it was in this book. He was telling it like what he really how he felt about things in this book, in you know easy to understand terms. Uh, so that people so that people later would be able to look back on this stuff and say well this is what the master Therion thought about it so here it is this is from uh, letter 50 in magic without tears by Aleister Crowley and it's just an excerpt it's not a uh, a whole uh, section as to part four the book of the law section the idea was that the volume should comply with the instructions given in Al 3 39. All this and a book to say how thou didst come hither and a reproduction of this ink and paper forever. For in it is the word secret, and not only in the English. And thy comment upon this the book of the law shall be printed beautifully in red ink and black upon beautiful paper made by hand. And to each man and woman that thou meetest were it but to dine or to drink at them, it is the law to give. Then they shall chance to abide in this bliss or no. It is no odds. Do this quickly. I mistook comment for commentary, a word-by-word -word exposition of every verse, and much of it I loathed with all my heart, including the Kabbalistic interpretation, a task obviously endless. What then about Al 340? This problem was solved only by achieving the task. In Paris, in a mood of blank despair about it all, out came the comment. Easy, yes. Inspired, yes. It is, as printed, the exact wording required. No further caviling and quibbling and controversy and casuistry. All heresy arcs are smelt in advance for the rats they are. They are seen brewing their very vile small beer in the air. The realm of intellect, swords, and they are accordingly nipped in the bud. All parliamentary requirements thus fulfilled according to the famous formula of the Irish MP. We can get on to your other questions untroubled by doubt. Notice how he says, easy yes, inspired yes, it is as printed, the exact wording required. No further caviling and quibbling and controversy and casuistry. It's very clear what Crowley thought about the comment. And, uh, you know, just think about it. I mean, uh, you may not agree with me, and, you know, I'm not going to try to force you to agree with me. Obviously, you know that's not what I do. But hear me out, you know. I mean, hear Crowley out. What did he think about the comment? And how do you think it might affect the Lima down the road if people uh, just go around spewing their own commentaries and their own interpretations of the Book of the Law? Uh, that's what happened with Christianity. People were spewing their interpretations and uh, quibbling about meanings of verses and, you know, look what they ended up with. Uh, I don't think that's what we want for Thelema, and I think that that's why the comment is what it is. Love is the law. Love under will.